Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I'm here with Mega Good Vibes. <laughs> We're just hanging out here. Shout out to the Mega Crew over on Patreon. Here is she. Here's your girl. Here she is. Hi. Hi, you little skellywag. What you been up to? Huh? What you been up to? What you been doing? Tell the Mega Crew what you been up to. Huh? Tell everybody what you been up to. Huh? What you been up to? Huh? Oh, sorry, you don't like me doing that, huh? You have to go with huh? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so as me and Meg are hanging out, um, you know, I really wanted to come on and share another reading with you guys. Um, but before I begin, of course, as always, it's Twintuitive717 here. <laughs> I'm back with another video, guys. I hope you all are doing incredibly well as always. I want to thank you so much for being with me here on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. You know, thank you for your wonderful comments. Thank you for liking the videos. I really appreciate you guys so very much. Um, I wanted to come back with another message here that uh, it has a lot to do with the feminines, okay? And many of the masculines are receiving you at this time as the empress, okay? So I feel that what's happening here is a, a lot of you are attracting, you know, the genuine, authentic, divine masculine energy, okay? Um, and what that means is like you want a divine masculine to approach you as very grounded and confident, um, you know, someone who is able to reach out and communicate with, uh, you know, we have two cards falling out here as well. Um, I'll tell you what these guys, these cards say here, but, uh, you know, what I feel is that many of the feminines want the divine masculines to approach from a place of uh, just being very sure of themselves, okay? A lot of you are really done with, like, hesitating with communication and... Um, especially if, if, if your counterpart is the masculine, um, I feel like many of you want them to appear as very strong and grounded and, and confident in who it is they are. Okay, so for this particular reading, we have keep an open mind, it is safe for you to love, and we have retreat. So what I feel like, um, you know, they're wanting to say through this communication is that, you know, they want to get away with you. I think that came out in the previous reading as well with the honeymoon card. Oh my God, this one's literally jumping me over here. Um, but they want to get away with you. They want to like, you know, spend time alone. Like, you know, like, hey, you know, like, let's come on, let's meet up and let's be alone type of thing. You know, that's what I feel like coming from the masculines. They want time alone with you. They want to get away with you. Um, a lot of them really don't know how to say that. They don't know how it would like happen or how they would make it happen. Because um, again, many of you have, you know, very unusual circumstances here on the journey. But I feel like that's what's authentically coming from their heart. Um, you know, many of you are being called to keep an open mind because I feel like trust is an issue here. Okay. Um, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. And that's just like the whole like twin flame thing you know your counterpart will always seem like they've come as like a very taboo connection um it's very unorthodox or unnatural for you two to be connecting but at the end of the day it's like the universe is trying to communicate it's safe for you two to love one another um and it's safe for the masculines to love you as well divine feminines love you you know wholeheartedly because I feel like that's really what they want to do but your presence right now is really commanding that they come through as confident maybe that's why the universe is trying to say to them like hey you know what it's okay to love this feminine and it's okay to approach her in this very like bold and confident manner because she's going to reciprocate you she will receive you um but i feel like them hesitating has something to do with maybe they don't no, or there's not enough clarity they're unsure about how you feel about them at this time the universe may also be indicating to this divine masculine <laughs> that they're gonna have to take a risk they might be very pleasantly surprised with the results right like i think that for many of you what's happening with this reading is that it's coming through to let you know that um, a lot of your masculines are going to be reaching out to you and they're going to be put in the position to do that because the universe is showing them just how real this connection is and also to follow their gut instinct many of them have this gut feeling that a lot of you feel this way about them but 
you know it's got to be their move i don't know like maybe this divine feminine is a divine feminine that wants to be courted let's find out okay so trials yeah she definitely wants to be courted and she wants to know that she means something to you and that you're important to her so courting her and taking that step to really reach out and communicate how you feel it, i feel like it's really important for this divine feminine and also for this divine masculine to to take this step because they know that time and time again they can really trust their intuition um, this kind of speaks volumes about the telepathy as well that you guys have been experiencing through this energy as well in this card i'm also getting that you know you guys have done this dance many times before um, it's like you guys are really connected to each other. Uh, you're always coming back to this place of trying again. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like you guys are always wanting to, like, try again. Time will pass by. You guys will go through, like, this period of separation or whatever. And then <laughs> it's like both of you are twiddling your thumbs at one point or another in your connection. And it's like, who's going to reach out again to try again? Like, you guys want to give this another shot. Um, you know, I'm getting to like a message for many of you is that, uh, you know, you guys go through a lot on this journey, the both of you. That's why this trials card is coming up because each time you guys decide to try again, you also have to face being honest with, you know, the karmic situations in your life, whether this be another partner or your parents or your close family and friends, uh, just honesty and integrity about this connection I feel is coming up. Um, and that's why you're being called to have an open mind, Divine Feminine, because in the past, maybe a lot of your masculines held back um, because you are different from them. Maybe you're a different culture. Maybe you guys come from two different parts of the world. Maybe there's a huge age gap. Um, like, what? ow, she bit me when I said there's a huge age gap. <laughs> you naughty little rat. You naughty little ratty. Uh, this little ratty baby. Mm -hmm. You're so adorable. But yeah, guys. You know, it could be a, a variety of reasons as to why it is you guys are experiencing so many obstacles on your journey, but I can guarantee it's meant to teach you a lesson. It's like these trials, these cycles, like whatever it is, um, you know, you're, you're kind of meant to go through it. It's funny because I was laughing with my mom the other day at uh, how you know she was sitting down watching like soap operas and she's like on the weekends she's like your dad doesn't like to admit it but he likes those soap operas too because you know <laughs> on like the commercial break he'll be like telling my mom like you know did you did you see what billy said you know what and my mom said he said that you know what these people just keep recycling themselves they, they just recycle themselves and my mom's cracking up because she's like you know, he's always complaining that she's watching these soap operas and change the channel and then little by little over the holidays because he had time off. <laughs> he's like caught up in like what Billy is doing and this ca character or whatever. Um, so I just find it funny with the trials card because it's like the karmic situations recycling themselves, you know. Um, many of your masculines can pick up on that. They can feel that energy. That's why they want to retreat with you, feminine. Um, you know, if you're their divine feminine counterpart, I feel like time apart and time alone with you is very necessary right now because I feel like this holiday season or this Christmas, it's like deja vu in like the worst way possible for many of your masculines um like they don't want to keep repeating this cycle like they don't feel a lot of passion with the karmics as well um it doesn't matter like how happy they appear to be on the outside they really just don't feel that passion that they do for you um what do they feel for you divine feminine so these are too many so i'll only take what's at the top and what's at the bottom okay so we have forgiving and learning why okay because you deserve love i feel like the divine masculines are the ones feeling like they deserve love and forgiving and learning is part of this because in order to walk away or leave a lot of the karmic situations that they are currently in it's going to take first of all forgiving themselves and then taking that action to release themselves for those situations and realize that it was just part of learning during this life process. We're talking a lot about that, I feel, in these in these uh, readings that are coming up where, you know, many of your masculines feel a lot of regret and remorse with their karmic situations because, you know, they, they really could have taken action um, a lot 
sooner on the journey and many of them do have compassion um, for these karmic situations and that's only because you know many of your masculines have gone through hard times in the past and these karmic situations did you know step in at the right time and and it, it's not all been toxic um, or chaos you know many of these relationships with their karmics have been um, you know very meaningful uh, and and it really isn't that easy to step away and many of you who have karmic situations with children um, you know definitely understand that it's not that easy to step away from these karmic situations and it really is all about recognizing and understanding why we're still wrapped up in these situations and then exiting them from a place of grace and integrity you know rather than being deceptive or lying or cheating or slighting someone the twin flames are really here to bring honesty and integrity and authenticity to current relationships here on earth and so yeah it, it kind of speaks volumes to me with this trials card here um, and that's just really the overall energy in this reading guys like if it's found you um, it's definitely a message here that says that many of your masculines are moving towards you and they do want to come forward and the reason that they are moving closer and closer and closer towards that dream of theirs or those hopes or that goal of theirs is because you know they're starting to pick up on the cycles you know many of them are starting to see that at this point uh you know it's always going to be you divine feminine it's always going to surface right back to you it's always it's always going to recycle itself you know right back to you it's always going to end up at the divine feminine um, when it comes to the masculines no matter how much time you guys spend apart or in separation it could be months it could be years you know i'm hearing like you know going on like one or two years for many of you those of you who were used to going months without communicating and now it's turned into years it's like that's the group of you that i'm feeling you know and it's like some of you might have even questioned at this point on the journey it's like is it over and it's like boom right away the universe is like no it's not over it's not over you know your counterpart might pop up in your life even stronger than ever to show you that it's not over and uh you know i feel like many of you kind of pulling out your hair going like what the hell it's like just when you think you're out of the race it's like you know you get kind of thrown back in there um, and that's what i feel like many of your masculines are wanting to communicate to you it's like yeah you guys are going to be thrown back in there because a lot of your masculines through these romance cards here they're delving deeper into this whole twin flame thing the reason they can't forget you is because they're meant to love you it's safe for you to love the reason you came into their life divine feminine is because they deserve love okay a lot of you guys don't know too like the amount of giving that your masculines have had to do in karmic situations and how much it's not been reciprocated and they've stayed simply because they didn't have the strength the, the confidence um you know the ability to step away from that um that's why they were stuck there and then the divine feminine came into their lives and showed them what the true divine masculine energy is which is the protector you know someone who stands up for themselves someone who is willing to uh you know be present uh with themselves and and fight the good fight um and allow people to carry their own baggage and you know they they have this strength within them i feel like many of the masculines have been distorted for so long where you know masculinity has stood for just something completely different you know the true masculine is is the protector he is the overseer of things um you know they really are there to you know add add that structure to the feminine's vision um is is really what i'm getting and many of them are longing to be close to you to really see what that vision is and that's why many of your masculines are attracted to you uh divine feminines it's because they feel a sense of purpose when they're around you you know after spending time with you or being around you it's like all of a sudden they get this fuel or this momentum to want to be part of something greater or or do something bigger with themselves you know and and for many of them it's taken them a lot of time to realize that it's the karmic situations that really take the spark out of that motivation and it's really up to them again to stand in their power and step away from that um, but it's in motion because again a lot of them are starting to wake up to the cycles right it's like they always end up back at you divine feminine that's got to mean something all right so anyways guys that's what i have for you for now look at the miss sassy pants over here miss sassy tail huh look at you miss sassy tail huh you gonna say bye to everyone huh? are you gonna say bye to everyone you cheeky little princess you're just so pretty mega huh you're just my mama you did my mommy
<laughs> she's so sweet guys oh my god i don't know what i did to deserve her i honestly feel it's because when i was a kid i used to really take care of my stuffed animals and like i used to i honestly thought that they would come to life when i was like away at school and stuff <laughs> so every time i think about the wonderful relationship i have with my cats <laughs> i'm like seriously it's got to be those moments where i had like such a tight relationship with my stuffed animals and now here they are in real life huh you're like a stuffed animal that came to life that's how cute you are hmm? yeah pretty girl <laughs> all right guys anyways i love you take care of yourselves and um i don't know if i don't post um you know before the new year you know definitely the best for 2023 for you guys all right i love you me and mega love you guys take care and uh We'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? All right, bye guys.